I've already shown you this nifty little bit set by Viha and Xiaomi. Now, I got a wow stick in its 69 and 1 set. Let's check it out. <laughs> As mentioned, this is the WOW stick in its 69 in one set. Some unimportant stuff is written on the back of the box, there's a QR code nobody uses on that side and so there's no reason to stick around. Let's have a look inside. The first thing that is greeting us is a magnetic pad and underneath everything else. Separately packed and neat white boxes. Let's dump it. Two quick guides appear, one in Chinese and one in English. You can pause the video if you want to read the English one. Ah, uh, so many boxes. Which one should I open first? Hmm. The biggest one? Ah, uh, better this one. It contains the holder for the wow stick. It feels quite hefty. The bottom of it is rubberized and I quite like this even matte finish. This box contains some accessories. We get a USB cable for charging. A small jar with random screws. A specialized guitar pick. A suction cup that works surprisingly well on this surface and the demagnetizer. Nothing really to write home about. The magnetic pad in here is nothing really fancy. It has a pleasing appearance that fits quite well to the rest. And testing it with the supplied screws, it works quite well. But it is only meant for small screws. And these elongated boxes are all the bits packed in screen printed clear tubes. Let me show you what you get in the close up. Let's start with Philips. We have the sizes quadruple O, triple O, double O, O, one, and two. Slotted drives in one, one point five, two. 2.5, 3, 3.5 and 4 millimeters. Hex keys in the sizes of 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.3, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and 4 millimeters. Torx in the sizes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Security Torx in the sizes 8, 9, 10, 15 and 20. Of course, for the Apple guys, here's the Pantalope 2, 5 and 6. We have Y-Type in the sizes 0.6, 1, 2, 
2.5 and 3 millimeters. Whew, this is getting tedious. So here's one of those six screen tubes that shows the contents and where to pull out these rubber holders on a stick. Moving on with Robertson and the sizes O, 1 and 2, triangles and the sizes 2, 2.3, 2.5 and 3 mm, we have spanners and the sizes 2, 2.6 and 3 mm, and a splint in the measuring of 0.8 mm. That works fine to remove the card holder in your mobile devices and is certainly better than these cheap ones you get with the smartphone. But why do I need it as a bid? So I can put it in the wow stick and stab someone with it? I don't know. And to W1.5. More like WTF, because I have never seen a bit like this and I have no clue what this is for. Please tell me in the comments. And as long bits we get the sizes Philips O and 2. I don't know why they are skipped size 1. And with it a slotted bit with 2mm in width and a hex key also 2mm in size. I don't know why they chose these sizes, I don't think they'd be handy for me, but hey, your experience may vary. I hope you noticed the scratches on the last one. Let's compare them with the Viha version. The size is embossed on the front and Viha on the back. To save some money, there's no marking on the back on the wow bits. Also, they have a longer neck that is not tapered like the Viha ones. All in all, Viha has a slightly better finish. There are no tool marks visible. Wow stick bits are obviously turned and show that. They also seem to be more scratches and dings. So presumably wow sticks bits are even softer than the Chinese Weha ones made by Xiaomi. Okay, let's unbox some more. Alright, this should be the wow stick itself. It is not as heavy as I thought though. Definitely a dandy looking tool. I really like those aluminium finishes, the darker colors, those just look marvelous. It even gets better in the close-up. There it is. Little motor, lights up, laser etched, with a USB micro B connector and an RGB LED that shows when charging and when fully charged. I think modern ones come with a Type-C connector, but this is an older one I have laying around for quite some time. I want to show you the PCB really close, as you can see some resistors and the LEDs that light up under some clear resin for protection. It lights up really well, I like it. But I am wondering if you could use a milky resin as a diffuser instead, wouldn't that be great? Last thing to unbox is the case. Both halves have four magnets each to hold. You can fit the wow stick in one tube with bits in it. It is decent and appears like a typical Spax case. Honestly, I won't use it. But hey, more stuff. And now, let's see how it all works.
As a test subject, I took my old Note 2 and unscrewed it. I might sound like a boomer, but there was a time when you could change a battery, SD card or SIM without tools. And you could get an IP rating without gluing everything shut. Those were the days. But I digress. The WOW stick has no problems with those tiny screws, it seems to have just about enough torque for it. And the mat is catching the screws nicely. What can I say? It seems like the perfect tool for assembling and disassembling small electronic devices. After breaking my pry bar, <laughs> I can show you the inside. But at this time, it is not really interesting, as this thing is totally obsolete. Let's close it and see how the wow stick operates while screwing down. It seems to me that the wow stick has just enough torque for this task. Which is great, as it seems to be an efficient design this way and you won't screw up. You can't damage anything. And if you need more torque, there are torque screwdriver handles out there or you have to buy his big brother. While I'm screwing the rest down, here's my verdict. For its price, it is totally a no-brainer. Just buy it if you're dealing with smaller devices, it is a really handy and nice looking tool to have around. This was the WOW stick. And that wraps it up for today.